You're watching Destiny Church. Live your call, fulfill your destiny. Welcome everyone, welcome Destiny. And it's good to be back. No, for the last two weeks, I was not able to uh, join you and, and share God's word with you. But I'm glad, I'm glad to be back. Anyway, I'd like to acknowledge, no, if this is your first time joining us here at Destiny, uh, I'd like to acknowledge your presence and would love to welcome you personally. So if this is your first time, can you just raise your hand for me? Ayan, merong first timer. Yay! Yay! We have, we have several first timers in the house. Come on, give them a hand. Give them a hand. Welcome, guys. Now, we are so glad that you could join us this Sunday. No? Again, my name is Pastor Carlo Panlilio. And me and my wife, Shalene, we have been pastoring Destiny for the last... No, actually, by next week, we are turning... Destiny turns 26 years old. Yay! Palapakan naman natin si Lord for that. No, And also, for those of you joining us online, if this is your first time, welcome din po sa inyo. We are glad that you could join us. We are actually streaming live here at Robinson's Gallery Mall Cinema too. So, if you happen to be free, uh, please do join us. Every Sundays, we have... 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. service here. And of course, all over the Philippines, no, we have services in our different satellites, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Meron po tayong churches, several churches in Pangasinan. We have several in Mindanao, Davao, Samwanga, Jensan. No, in Bicol, in Cebu, we have a Destiny Church as well. So if you just happen to be in one of those places, no, know that there is a, there might be a Destiny Church near you. So do join us. Amen. This this Sunday, you know, we're going to talk about belonging. Sabi nyo nga, belonging. More specifically, belonging to a community. You know, I'd like to start off uh, by, by sharing something you know, about vision. Okay? Vision you know, is very important and it's very basic sa ating buhay. When I talk about vision, basically I talk about, uh, I'm talking about what you see. Okay? Pag ikaw ay, uh, let's say, kukuha ng driver's license, whether for your first time or you're going to uh, renew your driver's license, one of the requirements of LTO is that you get an eye test. Okay? And why is that? No? They want them, LTO, Land Transportation Office, wants to make sure that if you are going to drive a car or a motorcycle, no, dapat lang naman na malinaw yung nakikita mo. Napakahirap naman na hahayaan ka mag-drive sa kalsada na hindi ka pala nakakakita ng maayos. Malabo pala ang, ang uh, mata mo. No? So, and just in case, na yun nga, may kalabuan ng mata mo, they will recommend a glasses, a pair of glasses, so that no, uh, you will be able to have 2020 vision. Now, Yun nga, vision, eyesight is something very, very basic in life. You know, every single one of us, yun nga, one of the five senses that God has bestowed every human being is the sense of sight. You know, can you imagine if you cannot see? Okay, I, I cannot even imagine living my life without my eyesight. You know? We know how important that is. You know? But interestingly, when we talk about vision, we're not only talking about the physical things that we see. Vision goes beyond the physical. No? It's about being able to see in the future, being able to see in faith. That's why as human beings, meron din tayong capacity to dream. No? Pag ang isang bata nangangarap, ibig sabihin yun nga, you know, you're able to believe or see something for the future. Pag sinabi ng isang tao, one day gusto ko maging doktor. O one day gusto ko makapunta sa lugar na yan. Na picture mo, na envision mo ang sarili mo, na one day you will become this person or you will be able to, no, you will be able to go to this particular place. Okay? So vision has more to do just than just physical sight. In fact, the Bible tells us that, no, in Proverbs chapter 29 verse 18. Okay. And if you uh, can join me with the slides over here. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18. This is what the Bible says. Sabi dito, Where there is no vision, people perish. And this is how important vision is in our life, personally, but also as a church. No? So sabi dyan, Pag wala daw pangitain, pag wala ka daw nakikita, 
No, there is that possibility, that chance that you might end up perishing. Sa Tagalog, ang isang taong walang pangitain o walang nakikita, siya ay mapapahamak. Some translation says, mapapariwara. No? Without vision, people perish. But he that keeps the law, happy is he. In the same, in the same verse, but the message translation, check this out. This is what it says. If people can't see what God is doing, they will stumble or they stumble all over themselves. Okay? That, is, that is just a one way at looking at it. Because when you talk about vision, it is not only what you see, but to see what God is doing. Okay? How many of you believe that God is doing something? No, in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, no, we call ourselves, we call the church destiny. And why do, we, why do we name our church after the word destiny? Because we believe that God is a God of destiny. In other words, God has a plan for you. God has a vision for you. No, may napipicture, may nakikita ang Diyos para sa In other words, no, He is doing something. The problem is this. So many people fail to see what God is doing in their lives. Naitanong mo na ba sarili mo? Naitanong mo na ba yun sa sarili mo? Lord, anong ginagawa mo sa buhay ko? Or sometimes we don't even get to ask that question, which is, I believe, is a very important one to know and to see what God is actually doing or what He is about to do or what He wants to do in your life. Remember Jeremiah 29 verse 11? Anong sabi ng Lord? For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. In other words, God has a plan for your life. Listen to this, no? Yun nga, hindi aksidente buhay mo. Unfortunately, so many people live their lives by chance. No, without a sense of purpose, without a sense of vision. Okay? But, but we need to understand, we are a people of vision. We are, no? We are to be a people of destiny. God has a plan for us. Sabi ng Lord, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. When people don't have vision, when they're not able to see their lives into the future, they lose hope. No, you know, that's why people end up perishing. They get, they get lost. No? Uh, one one benefit of having vision is that vision gives you direction. Di ba? Pag nakikita mo, no? pag, nari, pag, pag nakakakita ka kahit paano, alam mo kung saan ka papunta. At napakahalaga sa buhay yun. Sa buhay, sa buhay natin. No? Na tayo ay nakakakita at dahil nakakakita tayo kahit paano, alam mo dapat kung saan ka papunta. You know where you are headed. Okay? Is it possible that so many people today are at a loss as to who they are and at, no, they're also at a loss as to where they want to go or they, where they want to be? You know, they end up perishing, not fulfilling the thing that God has destined for them. You know, tumanda ka lang without ever, no, without ever accomplishing God's call, God's destiny for your life. Okay, that is why it's so important to see what God is doing. No, tanungin mo si Lord, Lord, what are you doing? Why did you put me on earth for? What, what is the purpose of my life? I want to see, Lord. Give me vision. No? So, uh, and, and you know, the problem is people end up stumbling all over themselves. They end up lost. Uh, Kaya may mga tao, ang term natin, di ba? Naliligaw ng landas. And sometimes, yun yung reality. A lot of people can't even figure out no, what they even want in life. I remember, how many of you uh, were able to watch, it's, it's already decades old, yung, ano, yung popular uh, movie ni, ano, ni Johnny Depp, yung uh, Pirates of the Caribbean? How many of you love that? No, that... Uh, no, actually, parang four, four, four part movie yun eh. 
No, una three, tas naging four, naging five na yata, I don't know. But I, I remember, remember in the story, si Jack Sparrow, no, si, si Johnny Depp, has this, at, at the first, the first uh, movie, no, he has this compass. Do you remember that? That he always toys around, that he always brings with him. And it, it, it seems that in the first part of the movie, the compass was a broken compass. Kasi pag hinawa ka ni Jack Sparrow, no, the, you know what a compass is, right? <laughs> okay? Yung compass is just spinning all over the place. Ikot lang na ikot yung needle niya. So parang sira. Bakit? Kasi ano, a, a working compass is yung needle niya, yung pointer niya, always points north. Pero pag si Johnny Depp yung ano, parang paikot-ikot yung, yung, ano, yung compass. Now, much more later, I think in part two, we realized that that was not just uh, that was not just an added uh, parang added instrument ni Johnny Depp. It was you no, know, it had it plays a significant role in the movie. Apparently, the compass was a magical compass, and when it is you no, know, pag ang humawak na ito ay isang tao na alam niya yung gusto niya. The needle of the compass will point towards you know, what the person wants. Kaya pala si Johnny Depp, pag siya'y humawak, ikot lang ng ikot because he doesn't even know what he wants. I'm thinking if, if, if there was really a magical compass at hinawakan mo, ano kayo mangyayari? Baka paikot-ikot ka din, di ba? Or bigla bang tutulo yun dun sa gusto mo? <laughs> Valentine's na po. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so, no. But it's, it's, it's important to know where we are going, no? Now, as a Christian, as a believer, what, 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 is, what is the heart no, of being a believer? What is the heart of, of Jesus' call or Jesus' vision? No, at, at the heart of Christianity is the call to what? The call to make disciples of all nations. How do we know this? In Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 to 20. I want you to understand. Jesus didn't save us so that you could eventually just go to church. No. This was Jesus' marching orders for us. No, his last command, no, as he ascended up to heaven, Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 to 20. And this is what he told no, his first disciples. Sabi niya, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. This is what our marching orders. Ano ibig sabihin ng go and make disciples? No? The word disciple is the word follower. In other words, follower of who? Follower of Jesus. Make people a follower of Jesus. No? Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to observe everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you to the end of the age. So, what does God, what does Jesus want us to do with our Christianity? No, ito pala yun, ano? To what? To go and make disciples. The vision for discipleship. What is discipleship? It's basically for us and for people to become more like Jesus. Understand this. Real Christianity is not a brand. It's not a religion. It is a way of life of becoming more and more like Jesus. Because yung reality, when, 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 we, when, when we become a Christian, hindi pa naman tayo katulad ni Jesus eh. What do I mean? No? Si Jesus ba ma- mainitin ng ulo? <laughs> hindi naman. No? So ang goal natin na eventually, mawala yung pagka mainitin ng ulo mo, yung pagka hot temper mo, and maging katulad ka ni Jesus. Si Jesus ba marites? I don't think so. <laughs> no? And minsan yun nga, ganun, ganun tayo eh. But we want to become more like Jesus. And that is what it means by being a disciple. You know, here at Destiny Church, no, and, and just for those of you who do not know this yet, no, our vision is what? No? We have this statement, to know Christ and make Him known. Can you say it with me? To know Christ and make Him known. What, what does that even mean? To know Christ, to know Jesus, that is our, no, our, our pursuit. Ba- bakit to know Christ? 
I'm not talking here about a casual or superficial knowing. Sino dito maraming kilala na hindi mo naman talaga kilala? <laughs> okay? Talk about Facebook, for example. Who has lots of friends of, in Facebook, but really you don't even know, know who these people are. Okay? And sometimes a relationship with God has become like that. So many people claim that they know Jesus. But sabi ko nga, this kind of knowing is not a superficial knowing. It is a knowing that is relational, that is experiential. Yung alam mo talaga na you can say, nararanasan ko ang Panginoon, nararanasan ko ang Diyos. No? Not just religion, but a relationship. A relationship that brings about change, that brings about transformation in one's life. No? So, uh, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, you know, if anyone is in Christ, he becomes, supposedly, he becomes a new person. That's what happens you know, to a Christian. That's what happens in the process of discipleship, of becoming more like Jesus. The more you know Jesus, the more you love Him, and the more you become like Him. Okay? But not only that, as we pursue knowing Jesus, no, it is but natural to get excited and tell others about Him. Yung nga kaya, to know Him and make Him known. Okay? When something good is happening to you, tama ba ako? When you experience something great, like probably, you know, you, you ate in this restaurant that is really so good. How many of you, na parang it's so natural for you to tell your friends and tell others, you know what, you have to, you have to check out this restaurant. Ang sarap ng pagkain, mura pa. Tama ba? Dapat ganun sana tayo ka-passionate about Christianity. If something really good is happening in your life, in your walk with Jesus, no, then the most natural thing is to tell others, hey, you know, I, I was just, uh, just, just last week, no, it was my first time to visit Japan. You know, me and my daughter were there for, for a week. No, uh, yeah, if you want to ask, kung nanood ako ng Taylor Swift, yes. <laughs> no, because of my daughter. <laughs> anyway, so, so uh, and, and it was my first time in Japan. And, and, and you, the most natural thing for me right now is to tell others na parang, wow, no, it, you, have to, you, have to, you have to visit Japan. It's beautiful. Not only that, I realized that you know, food is cheap in Japan. It's not, it's not expensive. And I was like, no, nagulat ako na mura yung pagkain. Mas mahal pa sa Singapore. No? So, 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 and then there's this restaurant that we tried and I cannot, I, I, like, I can't believe no, yung, 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 yung steak that we ate. And, and, and I've been telling people about it. Asap nito. No? Kasi nga, it's the most natural thing no, for a person when you experience something good, are you experiencing Jesus? Because if you are, the most natural thing is to make Him known, to tell others about Him. Amen? Right? Are you still there? Eh? So, now, wh- why am I opening up with this? No, kasi, so that's the vision. We want to... We wanna, Know Christ and make Him known. We want to win souls and make disciples. No, and as a church, we have no. I want to show you the direction, the vision that where each one is headed. Okay, please don't get the idea that church is. You know, bakit, bakit, have you ever asked yourself? Pat nga ba ako nagsi church? Para lang ba ano transition phase so that no, eventually one day pag namatay tayo at least kaya mong sabihin kay Jesus, Lord nag church ako ah. <laughs> is that it? It's, is that the goal? Why we come to church? Or is there a vision towards becoming more like Christ and making others like Christ? No? And so, last, uh, this year, we opened up with, you know, with uh, streamlining you know, the vision. You know, we call it revisioning. And, and yung ating discipleship process. And, and, uh, uh, I, I lay this down before, and I'd just like to put it down once again. No, yung four-letter base, yung process natin. We start off with believe. Say it with me, believe. Okay? Believe, belong, become, build. 
And this is what we want to do. This is where you, we, we are headed, no? We are in a journey of, first of all, when you come to know the Lord, when you come to know Jesus, you come to a place of believing. And then eventually, you know, you, you experience what it means to belong to a community, to stay with a church and a, a church family where you eventually grow and you become, you become more like Jesus. And finally, you become part of building and advancing God's kingdom. Kaya, can you say the words with me? The four letter B's. One, two, three, go. Believe. Come on, come on, guys. One, two, three, go. Believe. Belong. Become. Build. One more time. Believe. Belong. Become. Build. No, that's, that's the process. No? And uh, I think two weeks ago, we started off with belief. Ba- bakit mahalaga yung believing? Okay. Uh, we, we discussed this already extensively, but I'd like to add, no, there's this, what, what happens when a person does believe? In Acts chapter 16, verse 30 to 31, there's this story about, uh, kilala niyo si Paul, the Apostle Paul, and yung kanyang, uh, at that moment, he, uh, one, of the, one of the people who accompanied him in his preachings was a man by the name of Silas. No? And while they were preaching, Okay, they were arrested. Pinagbawalan sila mag-preach and they were arrested and they were thrown in jail okay, for preaching the gospel, for telling people about Jesus. No, that's what people suffered before no, during the time of Paul and Silas. So they were thrown in jail. Now what they did was rather than feel bad and mag pity and magalit kay God, ito na nga Lord, nagpipreach na kami and we end up being thrown in prison. Wala man lang naka-appreciate sa amin, nakaka-hurt ka Lord. No, walang ganon. Ang ginawa nila, instead of feeling bad, sabi doon, while in prison, when it was about midnight, they started to sing. They started to praise God. Dalawa sila. And lo and behold, something supernatural happened. Sabi dito that, no, there, all of a sudden, there was an earthquake. I don't know whether it was the songs or the voice of, of Paul. <laughs> Sino ba dito, no, pag kumakanta ka, medyo yumayanig. No, nagkaka-earthquake. Anyway, no, sabi dito, lumindol daw. Sobrang lakas nung lindol that what happened was, the jail doors opened up, the locks were broken, even their chains, no, nakalagan. Okay? And so, when the jail warden, the chief jailer, realized what, what happened, he rushed into the middle of the night in the jail only to find all the jail doors open. Now, you need to understand, gabi siya, di ba? And, and wala na mga electricity nung panahon na yun. No? He was just probably, what's this, carrying a torch, a light. And when he saw na, ani, na, na, na aninagan niya na yung mga pintuan ng kulungan, bukas na. And of course, in his mind, everyone has escaped. Now, you need to understand, if you are a jail guard during that time, more importantly, a jail warden, and someone escaped on your watch, you know what's going to happen? Okay, you will be executed. The punishment, pag may napakawalan kang preso, papatayin ka. And so at that moment, when this jailer saw what he thought everyone has already escaped, he drew his sword at magpapatiwakal na siya, magpapakamantay na siya. And lo and behold, out of the darkness, si, so, si Paul cried out and told the jailer, Don't do that! Andito pa kami lahat. And sig- sig- siguro dun, mas lalong namangha yung jail warden kasi first of all, no, an earthquake that, I mean, I'm sure earthquakes have already happened before but not to the level that, no, it didn't destroy the building, it just unlocked the doors. <laughs> How many of you know that that's already like, whoa. Diba? This is really supernatural. But what is more amazing for the jailer was, despite na bukas na yung kulungan, hindi tumaka si Paul and si Silas. Siguro ko ikaw yun. <laughs> Obvious, pinapatakas na tayo ni Lord. Di ba? Pero hindi, hindi. Nanatili sila doon. Tapos yun yung sabi, yung sabi ni, ni Paul, huwag mong gawin niya, huwag magpakamatay. Nandito pa kami. Mas lalo tuloy na amazed yung, yung Roman jail warden. No? And, and sabi dito, what he eventually did was he even escorted Paul and Silas out. And then, 
there's a conversation that went. No? Something struck him. Sabi niya, he said, he escorted them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Now, this is interesting. Alam niyo bakit? This man was a man of authority. He was, he was a jail chief, a Roman soldier. Okay? In a way, no, he had more freedom than these people na kinulong niya. And yet, he realized something about his life. He was not saved. And that's a good question. How do I get saved? Unfortunately, not many people get to ask that question. Okay? Or sometimes we don't even bother. No? We, we just assume that we're doing good and believe that we're doing good. But somehow this man saw the wretchedness of his life, that there was something wrong, that despite no, him being a good citizen, he knew he was not saved. And so he asked, what must I do to be saved? Verse 31. And they said, what did Paul say? Sabi niya, pasahin niyo nga, one, two, three, go. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved in your household. What's the key to being saved? Believe. No, and that is the, the key, the door that opens for us no, to Christianity. It is a simple faith of believing and trusting in the Lord Jesus and surrendering our life to Him. No, that you know, If you believe, you and your household and your family will be saved. When we believe, what happens is we are saved. Saved from what? We are saved from ourselves, from our selfishness. We are saved from our sins, our bondages. No, we are saved from our, you know, even from the traumas of our past. Okay? We are saved from the, bitter, the bitterness of our, of our lives. We are saved from, from hell. No? Maganda yung tanong eh, what must I do to be saved? Anyone of you want to be saved from hell? <laughs> right? Tama ba? And so sabi dito ni Paul, believe, trust, surrender in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Now, in John chapter 1, verse 19 to 13, no, John, John, the Apostle John wrote this. Sabi niya, He, Jesus, was in the world, and the world was there through Him, and yet the world didn't even notice. Now, when Jesus came into the world, you know, the reality is not many people recognize that God came in the flesh. This is God who literally made the heavens and the earth. He made every one of us, and yet people failed to recognize Him. So sabi niya, he didn't even notice him. He came to his own, but they didn't want him. Oh, wait. You would have assumed that people would want Jesus, but sabi dito, there were people that didn't want him. Now look at this. But whoever did want him, who believed he was who he claimed and would do what he said, he made to be the true selves their child of God selves. Wow. This is what happens when somebody, pag ang isang tao naniwala at sumampalataya ng totoo sa kanya. Sabi dito, no, everyone who wants Jesus and believes that He is who He claims to be, that He is a Savior, that He is God, no, what happens to that person? Okay? He makes them, in some translations, sabi them, He gives them right to become children of God. It is at that moment when one believes, pag naniwala ka daw, nagiging anak ka ng Diyos. No? And what does that tell us? Not everyone is a child of God. It is when you actually believe. Okay? Right? Amen? Pero yun nga, okay, believers na tayo. No? How many of you have already believed, have trusted in Jesus? You started to walk in relationship with Him. You allowed Him to save you from a life of, of misery and, and from a life of sin. Eh? But what's, what's the next part for us? God doesn't only want us to believe. In fact, sabi dito, when we believe, we become part of God's family. You become a child of God. In other words, no you end up belonging 
Okay? And that is where you know, we are going to talk about today. You know? We, okay, we need to belong. To belong to a community. Allow me to read a couple of verses. No? Acts chapter 2, verses 46 to 47. Ano yung Acts chapter 2? No? The book of Acts, no, ito yung, ito yung ano, uh, right after Jesus already ascended to heaven, this is the birth of the church. And ito yung nangyari dun sa church 2,000 years ago when it was just beginning. Okay? And day by day, attending the temple together, breaking bread in their homes, they received their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to their number day by day those who were being saved. Now here's what's interesting. Day by day, I would like you to highlight that. They attended the temple. What is the temple? No? Okay. The temple is the big, you know, the big congregation. The, you know, it's when everyone attends. It's like what we're doing right now. Okay. It's, it's in a way parang temple worship. It's when you come to church. No? But not only... No, not only did they do that. Sabi dito, they were breaking bread in their, where? In their homes. So they continued, no, breaking bread in their homes. Now, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24 to 25. Ito naman ang sabi ng author ng Hebrews. Sabi niya, let us consider how to stir up. In other words, to encourage, no, one another to love into good works, not neglecting to meet together as some, as, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near. No? So here we find encouragement. Sabi ng author ng Hebrews, no, na, uh, uh, let's, let's stir up one another to love and good works. Bakit kailangan encourage ang isa't isang magmahal? Sino nga amin, minsan nakakapagod magmahal. Di ba? And that's why, no, kailangan i-encourage natin na isa't isa, not only to love, but sabi dito, to good works. No? When you're surrounded by things that are bad and evil, no, sometimes you want to give up doing what is good. And it is, no, it is great to have people around you, that you're surrounded with a family, you're surrounded with a group of people that will encourage you and tell you, wag susuko, just keep on doing what is good, your labor is not in vain, diba? Padayon lang, patuloy lang. Right? Right? Okay, kasi siguro kung wala mag-encourage sa'yo, a lot of us, many of us who have already given up, I thank God for all the people that God has brought in my life and just encouraged me and, and, and I realize, so the reason I'm still going is not because I'm a really strong Christian, I'm immovable, and I'm just, yeah, always on fire. No, no, no. I had moments when I feel like so weak and tired and I wanted to give up. But every now and then, there are just those people who would come alongside me and say, Tuloy lang. Okay? And this is, what, this is what church is all about. No, it's about having a group that you can belong, that you can call family. No, Hebrews three verse twelve. Take care, brothers and sisters, lest there be any of you an evil and unbelieving heart leading you to fall away. You know, no, no, in other words, to give up, to fall away, to backslide, to fall away from the living God. But exhort one another to exhort, no, to encourage one another every day as long as it is called today, that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. No, you know, if, if you're by yourself, there's that tendency na yung puso mo, na dating, uh, dating soft and, and malambot and tender with God, becomes hard be, because of pain, because of hurts, no? and being deceived by sin. Okay? For we have come to share, share in Christ if indeed we hold our original confidence firm to the end. No? So, why belong? Okay. Well, why is this part of a process? Believe, belong. Why belong to a community? Allow me to share you four points. Number one, it is in our nature 
to belong. It is in our nature. It is in your nature as a human being. No, bilang isang tao, we crave, we desire to belong. No, this is something that no was placed in our hearts by God Himself. Romans chapter one verse six, sabi dito, and you are also you also are among those who are called of Jesus Christ to belong to Him. God calls us. No. To belong to Him. Okay. In fact, even science, behavioral sciences, psychology attest to this. No, you just Google the word "belong," and you'll find out that there's a lot of articles. No, in, in in the sciences supporting this idea that no, it is within our nature to belong. I, I just. You know, one of the articles that I read, I'd like to share with you from study.com, and this is what it said. Okay? Belonging is a vital and lifelong part of human experience. E, hindi mo pwedeng itang ito. Bilang isang tao. No? It's vital okay? and lifelong part of human experience. Most people want to share life successes and challenges with others. Is this true for you? Tama ba? If you experience success, tagumpay, no? Is it normal to, no? You want to tell others dun sa mga tagumpay mo? It's one thing na nagtagumpay ka. It's another, no? To share that success with others, with family and friends, with churchmates. Now that's one thing to share your successes and your victories, but also to share the challenges and difficulties. Tiba mas masarap na ako niya, or I mean. No, mas madali na kunyari meron kang mapagsasabihan ng pinagdadaanan mo, dadamayan ka ng mga, no, mga pagsubok sa buhay mo. Kaya sabi dito, okay, most people want to share life successes and challenges, both the trials and the triumphs. People are typically happier if they, if they feeling support about goals, dreams, failures, fears, and more. The need to belong appears in Practically every aspect of life, no, from family to work to school to sports to the military to religious contexts, some people need personal space or inclined to introversion. Totoo, may mga tao that they want more space. They're inclined to be introverted. No, pero sino dito? Check this out. Okay. Kung nari introverted ka, pag kinas nakahanap ka ng isa pang tao, introverted din. Sabi, okay, introverted ka, parehas tayo. You know what you just did? You just felt you belong. <laughs> Di ba? Right? Okay? <coughs> you always try to connect with people that you feel you're, you know, are like you. No? This, okay. now, sabi na, however, humans are social beings by nature. This instinctual need, instinctual, sabi nyo nga instinctual? In other words, it's instinct, no? Need goes back at least to the time when people bonded as clans, tribes. Belonging to a group has provided people resources, safety, and companionship. And we all need those. We want to feel safe. We want to, no? you know, in terms of resources, you could share Maaring wala ka, pero meron siya, and that's good. O maaring, no, meron ka, wala siya, and then you, no, it's, it's a good feeling to share. And then there's companionship. Now, if you think that, no, this is the idea of science, I want you to understand, God thought about this, no, in the book of Genesis, which is the first book of the Bible, establish lang natin that the need for us to belong is an idea in the mind of God has been placed in our hearts. No? Genesis chapter 2, verse 15 to 24. Yun nga, it is within our nature why God placed this in our hearts. No? Ano, ano makikita na sa Genesis chapter 2? This is right after God made Adam in his image and likeness. And this is what happened. So the Lord God took the man he had made and settled him in the Garden of Eden to cultivate and keep it. The Lord God commanded the man, saying, You may freely, unconditionally eat the fruit of every tree of the garden, but only from the tree of knowledge, recognition of good and evil, you shall not eat. Otherwise, on the day that you eat from it, 
you most certainly will die because of your disobedience. Look at verse 18. Now the Lord God said, it is not good or beneficial for the man to be alone. Now, what do you think is happening here? All of a sudden, God realized, ay, hindi pala good na man is alone. Ba't nga ba isa lang ginawa ko? No, no, no. God knows what He is doing. It's not, for, it's not that God realized, but it is for us to realize. No? It is not good for man to be alone. Okay? And so what did God do? Okay. Sabi dito, Now the Lord God said, It is not good or beneficial for the man to be alone. I will make him a helper, one who balances him, a counterpart who is suitable and complementary for him. I love the Amplified Version. Sabi dito, no? One who is, what? I, I like that. Beneficial for him. No? Suitable. Complementary. I love the word, who balances him. No? So the Lord God formed from the ground every animal in the field, every bird of the air, and brought them to Adam to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called the living creature, that was its name. And the man gave names to the livestock, the birds of the air, and to every animal in the field. So, no, all of a sudden, Adam was busy. No, all the animals in the world were being brought to him. He was giving them names. No, and I'm sure Adam had a, 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 an awesome time. No, and, and okay, how many of you have pets? Like, how many of you have dogs? Dogs are amazing creatures. They're loyal, they're faithful, they're adorable. They're, no, I, 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 have, I have several dogs, no? But okay. the reality is, I don't think Adam saw a dog and like, I belong to this dog. Remember that? How many of you know that old classic song by, I think, Depeche Mode? I want somebody to share, share the rest of my life. Share my innermost thoughts, know my intimate details, someone who'll stand by my side and give me support. And in return, she'll have my support. Sa tingin niyo ba kinakanta yun sa isang aso? I want someone. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Di ba? I mean, dogs are good. They're amazing. But I know it, it would be funny, it would be weird if a man would be singing that to his dog. No, he was, he was searching for a companion. He was searching for someone he can belong to. Okay. So, now, bakit yun ang ginawa ng Diyos, no? It's not that God didn't realize, but I think what was going on was God was all the more making Adam see that none of these things None of these animals, the lion, the bear, the elephant, the giraffe, the dog or the cat, was a perfect fit for him. And ang galing, kasi sabi dito, no, at, at, no, in verse, ano, sabi dito, and, no, so the Lord brought all those animals in verse 20, and then sabi dito, and there was not found a helper that was suitable, a companion for him. So the Lord caused a deep sleep to fall unto Adam. And while he slept, he took one of the ribs and closed up the flesh at that place. And the rib which the Lord that God had taken from the man, he fashioned and formed into a woman. And he brought her and presented her to the man. Then when Adam woke up, Adam said, This is now bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. Okay? She shall be called a woman because she was taken out of a man. This is... This is... Someone I could call my own. Bone of my bone. Flesh of my flesh. And so I believe for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and she shall be joined to his wife and they shall be called one flesh and they are naked. I naked and unashamed. And what is that idea of nakedness? It's a place where you're not afraid. No, you, 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 in other words, wala kang tinatago, pag hubad ka, you, you're not afraid to be seen. You're not hiding anything. And it's, an, 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 in, in other words, Adam and Eve found each other in a safe place where they could, 
they could share. No, they're not hiding anything. They're not covering anything up. No, kaya nga pag ang isang relationship, may mga, may mga tinatago ka na, you know, something is wrong. Okay? Just, just, just a bit of insight. No, so, so, ano makita natin dito? Now, from the very beginning, no, belongingness was not man's idea. It was from the very beginning, God's idea. It is not good for us to be alone. God does not want us to be alone. He wants us to be in a community, in a family. Right? No, in fact, uh, how many of you are familiar with no, Maslow's hierarchy of needs? Yes, yes. Uh, Abraham Maslow is another psychologist and, and uh, uh, ito yung, yung pre-nescent nga, no? yung hierarchy of needs. No? So, can you put it up? Okay, I hope you can see it. No? So, yung pinaka-basic, yung tinatawag na physiological needs, in other words, bilang tao, para ka mabuhay, kailangan mo nang, no, kaila, sabi dito, no, breathing, so, sino nga niniwala kailangan mo huminga? Yung iba nakakalimot huminga. Please tell them, oh, huminga ka, huminga ka. Eh, mahalaga yun, yung mga tao hindi nang humihingi eh. No, you need to you need to breathe. Okay? It's a need. No, but also together with that we need food, we need water, we need shelter, clothing, we need sleep. And then, no, no we need what? We need safety and security. Okay? Health, employment, property, family, social ability. Now, look at the third. No? We need. Now, understand this. This is a need. We need Love and belonging. Even the sciences affirm what God has already placed in the Bible. And you love and belonging? Friendship, family, intimacy. Okay? A sense of connection. Diba? It's, good to, it's good to know that you're connected with people. There's a sense of connection. No? There's intimacy. No, it's intimacy, no? It's it's where a, a person you can tell your secrets to, your deepest longings, your, your greatest dreams, your challenges, your joys and your victories. Okay. It is in your nature to belong. Number two. Okay. Ano pa? Why belong? It is the pattern of the early church. How did the church start it? After Jesus was resurrected and he ascended to heaven, no, and this is what happened in the early church. Binasa natin kanina in Acts chapter two verse fourteen. Kanina, this is also the same passage that Pastor Acha shared with us during the giving. No, I, I like that part when sabi don, they, no, the people realized that what they owned was not their own. You know that's ha- what happens when you when. When you become a Christian, it takes away your selfishness. No, kasi people, we strive for what? We strive for success, for our own glory, our own riches. No, yun eh, akin to, no, pera ko to, bahay ko to. Pero ang galing yun nangyari sa unang church, di ba? Sabi doon, bigla sila nagkaroon ng realization that what they own was not their own. It all belonged to God. And that's why they were able to share. And that's what a church is. Anyway, so, yun yung bina, bina, no, same, same chapter, Acts chapter 2, sabi do. And day by day, they were attending the temple together. Ano nga temple? It is the huge gathering. Okay? And this is what we're doing here. No? Every Sunday, that's why, this is important. That's what they do. They gathered, and what do they do? They worship together, and it's, Diba? It's such a good experience to sing songs with everyone, no? And and to to hear the preaching of the word. How many of you like you 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 get blessed with the preaching of God's word? Yeah. Tama ba? You're, you're learning something here right now. Tama ba? Like yeah, that's good, and it's affirming you. It's it's speaking to you, no? But then, may pa sila ibang ginawa sabi to. They broke bread in their homes. Ano yung breaking bread? The other term for that is. They had communion. Now, ang nangyari over the years, no, yung holy communion na tinatawag, naging, ano, naging siniksik na rin dun sa idea ng church. And ginagawa rin natin yun. Every, uh, was this once a month, we have what we call uh, celebrating the Lord's Supper to commemorate 
Jesus in the Catholic Church for I believe marami sa atin we have Catholic backgrounds no in every Sunday pero nawala yung totoong essence nung ano kasi bakit breaking of bread now tayo mga Pilipino tayo kinakain natin rice sila in the eastern uh, in the eastern countries no uh, on that part of the world okay they they eat bread in other words so when people eat bread they were actually having a meal in other words, totoong kainan to. Kasi nangyari sa atin, di ba? No? Maliliit na ostya lang. O kunyari, yun, yun, yung pipitas ka lang, ano, kukurot ka lang ng tinapay. No? Hindi, totoong, totoong, palang, totoong kainan to. No? Totoong, and that's why, remember, yung idea was when Jesus, the night before He died, ang tawag is Last Supper. No? It was a supper. It was a dinner. They were having dinner. Jesus broke the bread. Because that's what they were eating. Okay? It was not some special ostia. No, it was regular bread. No, sabi niya, and he gave it to his disciples. Says, this is my body. In other words, he's saying, this is my life. I'm offering it to you. I'm giving my life to you. He was establishing what you call a covenant. Ano yung covenant? No? He was establishing a relationship with them. And that's what happens diba? in marriage. Marriage is a covenant. It's a marriage covenant. It's when two people found themselves and, and yun nga, they, they affirm that they belong to each other. But yung covenant is not limited to marriage. No, covenant happens, no? Yun nga, with God. Lord, we belong to you. Okay? Jesus called us to belong to Him, but also as a church, no? We belong to one another. When I, by the way, when I, Talk about I mean, breaking bread from house to house. Now, they were not doing this in the big gathering. They were not doing this in the temple. They were doing this in the families, in small groups. Say the word with me, small groups. Say the word with me, cell groups. Here at Destiny, we are a cell church. No, We don't just want you. I'm sure a lot of you are being blessed by the Sunday service, but we want you to get connected to a, a smaller group, a cell group. Kasi may mga bagay na sadyang hindi natin magagawa dito. Example, no? Uh, eh, in a smaller group, you, know, you, you can share meals, you can eat together. And ano nangyari doon? Nagkwekwentuhan. Okay? Mahirap naman kung nagkwekwentuhan kayo dito habang nagsasalita ako, magulo yun. Pero sinong, sinong gusto niyong may kakwentuhan? <laughs> Tama ba? I mean, it's good that you're listening to me, but I'm sure like, you also wanna share. Tama, yung gan- Ang sarap nung may ka-sharing ka, gagawin ko yung tama yung sinabi ni Pastor, nag-strike sa akin, may insight ka, no? Nacha-challenge ka, and you get to share it to your friend, to your cell group, to your cellmate, no? What else? Okay? In a smaller setting, in a cell group, you can ask questions. No? Sino may mga tanong? Di ba? At doon sa, sa cell group, pwede kayo magtanungan eh. Dito, magulo kung kunyari, lahat kayo mamaya, may, may, may tanong ako, pastor, magulo, di tayo matatapos. Ibihin na natin yung programa, tawag na natin, itanong mo kay Panlilio. Parang pangit eh. Di ba? <laughs> pero, pero in a small group, no, we could ask questions and we could share our thoughts. Not only that, we could pray for, of course we can pray here. I, we, we can declare prayer, but it's something personal when someone prays for you, for your specific needs. No, kaya minsan nagtatanungan, is there anything I can pray for you? No? And, and, and ako, ang ganda sa, sa, sa cell group namin, ano? I, I remember no, la, last year, no, si, si Brian, one of my cellmates, no, he has been praying uh, so many times no, and for, for a promotion and it was parang nakakapagod na, parang hindi sinasagot ng Lord. But you know what? No, we just kept on praying and finally it came and I was I was so happy and he was so happy and I remember these were the things that we prayed for. No? Sometimes nga, nag-pray, dati wala pang anak, tapos pinag-pray, sana mag-asap, maya-maya malalaman mo, buntis na. Diba? Ang sarap nun eh. Right? No, no, you see that God answers prayers and no, it, it, no your, your prayers no, that you have requested in your small group Okay, that's beautiful. Okay, what else? No, you show love to one another. No, in other words, napapakita mo talaga na mahal mo, you take care. Na to, how do you show love? Like, I, I can always tell you here, like, guys, I really, really love everyone on here. And, 
<laughs> I don't know how you would feel. Probably me. Oh. <laughs> no, but 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 then again, in a cell group, how do you do that? Pag merong namatayan, dadamayan ka. Pag merong bumagsak, tutulungan ka. Pag merong nadapa, tatawanan ka. <laughs> kasama yun. Kasama yun, di ba? <laughs> yung totoong kaibigan, pag nadapa ka, tatawanan ka. Pero tutulungan ka din naman. Kasi totoong kaibigan eh. Di ba? That's, 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 how, that's how you show love. You don't just say, you know, no? You don't just say you love someone. Love is best expressed when it is demonstrated. Ayan, Valentine's na ipakita mo. Huwag mo lang sabihin. Ayan. No? And yun nga, yung breaking of bread, yung kainan, it's, yun nga, communion. To commune. No? Number three, dalawa na lang. And can, maybe, Jakes, you could come. It is a place where we grow in love. Acts chapter 2, verse 46 to 47, sabi dyan, they received their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God, having favor with all people. Now, in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24, sabi dito nung, Hebrew, nung author ng Hebrews, let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. Sabi ko nga kanina eh, let's face it, no? there are times in our lives na parang nahihirapan tayo magmahal. But it is good when you have people around you encouraging you and telling you, tuloy lang, no? Huwag mo susukuan niya asawa mo. Okay? Okay lang yan. Nangyayari yan. Nagkakainisan talaga. Di ba minsan pag yung point na inis na inis ka na, gusto mo na, in your mind, akala mo, hihiwalayan mo na eh. Na, nangyari naman sa inyo yun? Para iniisip mo, suko ka na eh. No? But then again, may cell group ka naman sabing, huwag kang mag-isip ng ganyan. Nangigaling kay Lord yan. Tapos mahihimas-masang ka. Praise God. No? Kasi kung walang ganun, or, yun nga eh, kung yung mga kasama mo, eh wala namang matinong mag-advise. Nako, ganyan talaga yung mag-alahe. Wala, yam mo na yan. <laughs> Patay tayo. Diba? Kaya minsan mas marami nagkakasira-sira ng buhay. Kasi, yun nga, yung, alam niyo number, no? In, in the cell group, no? What, what happens is, we go in love and there's, a, there's what you call safety. Safety. Proverbs chapter 27, verse 6. Masahin po natin itong verse na ro. Tandaan niyo itong verse na ro. Ang ganda. Proverbs chapter 27, verse 6. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. Tapat daw ang sugat na galing sa kaibigan. Wait, 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 wait. So, ang isang kaibigan pala, pwede kang sugatan? Oo. Pero yung sugat na galing sa isang kaibigan, tapat. Hindi mag sabihin ito, no? Yung kaibigan kasi sasabihin niya kung ano mali sa'yo, hindi siya matatakot. At minsan, dahil nga pinagsasabihan ka, may tendency kang masaktan. Tama? Sino na ditong napagsabihan na tuwa? <laughs> hindi eh, masakit mapagsabihan kasi ibig sabihin na pinagsabihan ka is to make you realize na mali ka. E minsan yung pride natin doesn't allow or no, our pride no, doesn't want us to know that we are wrong. And your cellmates, your ates and your kuyas, your pastors, your leaders, no, because they're real friends, they're gonna tell you, I always tell this, here at Destiny, we will tell you not the things that you just want to hear, but we will tell you the things that you need to hear. Right? I mean, it's one thing to, no, gusto mo marinig ng mga bagay na gusto mo marinig. Di ba? Gusto mo marinig. Gusto mo marinig ng, good job! Eh kung bad job ka naman talaga. Di ba? No? Alam mo, pangit trabaho mo eh. 
samahan na loob mo. Ipangit talaga. Hindi yun sinabi para ma-discourage ka, sinabi para pagbutihan mo. Para gumaling ka. Di ba? Gusto mo lang marinig, ang ganda mo. Kaya lang. <laughs> Kaya minsan, tapatin natin natin mga sarili. Minsan, kailangan mo marinig yung mga kaya lang. Kaya lang bungangera ka. <laughs> kailangan mo marinig yun eh. Di ba? Hindi maganda yung ang ihingay masyado. Di ba? Part yun ng discipleship to become more like Jesus. Right? Kanta mo, sungit mo lang. Baka masungit. Hindi nakakaganda yan. Ang ganda sa akin, maganda ka na. Gentle ka pa. Ha? Di ba? Tama? Pogi ka nga. Bad breath ka naman. Misa, kailangan malaman mo yun. Nagtataka, ba't, ba't yung mga sisters lumalayo sa akin? Mabait naman ang uwo, mabait ka. Bad breath ka lang. Hindi, may mga sinabihan ako, bro, toothbrush ka, ha? Hindi, kailangan nila, ma- minsan nakakaya sabihin yun, eh. Pero sabi sa Bible, faithful are the wounds of a friend. Huwag kang ma-offend pag pinagsasabihan ka. May mga tao na pagsabihan, ang bilis ma-offend, ang bilis mag-quit. Ay, oo na. Nakaka-offend ka. Alam niyo, this generation is a generation that has been so easily offended and easily quit on their relationships. Hey, that is not Christ-like. Are you there? In fact, bakit sabi, it is interesting, no? Safety, pagkatas, faithful are the wounds of the friend. Because the wounds of a friend are safe. You know what is more dangerous? The kisses of an enemy. Halik ni Judas. Yun nga yung ifa-flatter ka lang. Diba? Ano yung ifa-flatter ka lang? Ang ganda mo. Bili ka nga, oh. <laughs> May, meron ka sariling agenda. Sasa, yung, lahat sasabihin na maganda patungkol sa'yo kasi meron sa agenda. That is more dangerous. The kisses of an enemy. Life groups are safe spaces where you can share your struggles and we- your weaknesses. People, I want to encourage you, no? If I know that over the last couple of years, no, we, we, we have somehow lost the idea that some people are not, no, especially during the pandemic, we're no longer in touch with our life groups. No, no, we're going to go back to that. We at Destiny, we have always been a cell church. No, we're not a church that just gathers every Sunday. No, we are a people that are connected with one another who helps each other in times of weaknesses and trials eh, and difficulties. We pray for one another. No, eh, So, it is a place where you can share your struggles no, without the fear of being judged. Eh, you know, you know, it's safe. Eh, you know, it's safe. Hindi, mo kayo, hindi ka matatakot na baka ma-judge ka. Alam natin, lahat tayo may pagkukulang. No? And we encourage authenticity. Ang pakatotoo. Ang sarap yung, yun nga yung idea ng Lord. They were naked and they were unashamed. In other words, they were authentic. They were not hiding anything. No, ang hirap ng buhay na palagi kami tinatago. No, na, okay, na kahit na masakit na masakit na puso mo, you have to portray na nakangiti ka pa rin. Fake. No hair. You don't have to hide. Strength. What does, what does the life group provide? What does the small group provide? Strength. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9. Two, two can accomplish more than twice as much as one. For the results can be much more better. No? Ano nangyayari? Pag meron ka mga kasama, may mga, yun nga, katuwang ka sa buhay, no, there is increased productivity and increased productivity leads to greater satisfaction. Okay? It gives you help, tulong. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 10. No, sabi dito, if one of them falls, the other one can help him up. 
No, yun, yung, yun yung okay na pag ang isang tao daw na may kasama, pag siya ay nadapa, anong gagawin ng isa? Tatawanan ka muna. Tama, tama. Pero hindi, hindi lang doon. Tutulungan ka din. Kawawa. Sabi dito, no? But who will help the pitiful person who falls? Hey, listen to this. It is pitiful to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Just, just coming to church and that's it. That's, that's your Christianity. No. God's design is for a community for, that you, you are connected with a small group of people. No? Friends. Family. Eh? Sabi niyo, pitiful is the person who falls down alone. Wala kasing tutulong sa kanya. Walang dadamay sa kanya. Eh, nakakalungkot kasi posible nag-attend sa church, part sila ng church, pero may nangyayari na pala, nadadapa na pala, natitisod na pala, may pit- namataya na pala ng nanay. No? Kaya lang walang may alam. Hindi naman sa ayaw mag-care nung simbahan. Wala lang may alam. Kaya pitiful, kawawa daw, mas kalunong-sununong yung kalagayan ng nag-iisa. Diba? Ang hirap nun, wala ka ng kabalintayin, wala ka pang cellmate. <laughs> diba? At least, wala ka pang kabalintayin, may cell group ka naman. Yan. Diba? Right? No, yun, ma, mag, no, sa Valentine's Day, magkakasama kayo ng mga singkel na walang no, lalakas nyo. <laughs> diba? Nagtutulungan kayo. Protection, sabi dyan. To, Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 11. To, in bed, warm each other alone, you shiver all night. No? Manlalamig ka daw buong gabi. By yourself, you're unprotected pag nag-iisa, wala, you know, you're unprotected. With a friend, you can face the worst. I love that. I'm, I'm happy for friends. Real friends. I've had to face worse things in my life. No? And I'm glad that there are friends who stood by me. Can you round up a third? A three-stranded rope isn't easily broken. I love this line from John Eldridge, one of my favorite authors. Evil will hunt you. You need to understand, Satan is real. and He's going to destroy you. He's going to prevent you from fulfilling your destiny. You may not realize it. Every one of you, makinig po kayo lahat. No, every one of you, you may not have realized, but God has an amazing plan and destiny for you. God has a call over your life. Maring hindi mo pa nare-realize ito, natatagpuan. But mind you, don't you look down on yourself. Eh? Now, what you also need to realize is that God has a great plan for you and that's why the enemy, Satan, would like to stop you. Evil will hunt you. That's why, sabi dito, and so a fellowship must protect you. A fellowship. And, and that's the idea if you know the movie, The Lord of the Rings, di ba yung first, first ano nung movie, The Fellowship of the Rings. Sino yung, sino yung bida? Sino yung talagang mag, mag uh, naatasan para mag magtapo nung singsing dun sa ano eh si si eh si Frodo sino si Frodo siya yung pinaka parang walang power aliit no yun nga habit lang siya a halfling we say he's he's not even half the man sino yung mga sino yung mga may powers no si Legola si Aragorn si Gimli si si Gandalf Pero ang sabi dito, no? evil will hunt you. Yun nga, no? The enemy will hunt Frodo. But then there was a fellowship that protected him. And that's what the church is. No? A fellowship to protect you. Of course, there's love, there's acceptance. Tanggap. Ano yung tanggap? No? Now, hindi big sabihin ng tanggap tinolerate. Tanggap tayo ng Lord, love tayo ng Lord. Pero hindi nga ito tolerate ang kasalanan. Minsan kasi ginagawa natin dyan, hindi, tanggapin mo ako, ganto na ako. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Kaya nga, need natin maging Christ-like. Tanggap kita, yung weaknesses mo, yung pinagdadaanan mo. Pero yung katotohanan na kailangan mo ding magbago. Ayaw. Tama ba? Right? So you're accepted. But sin will not be tolerated. Okay. 
And finally, number four. Why? Why the need to belong? More importantly, belong to a cell group. Belong to a church life group. It is the only community committed to discipleship. Alam mo, you can find belongingness in, in cliques and groups. Okay? No, and then, pansin niyo, no, a fraternity can satisfy your need to belong. That's why may mga tao talaga magpapakamatay sila. Ma, matawag lang brad o sis, di ba? They're willing to go through the initiation process and suffer all that. No, may mga barkadahan that you would feel accepted. And, okay, but the difference is this. No? The only community, only community that is committed to discipleship that is committed to making you more like Jesus is a cell group. Amen. And that's why I want to encourage every single one of you, Destiny Church. Maybe some of you are just new. Maybe some of you in your first time. And the first step is you know, to surrender your life to Jesus in a loving and wonderful relationship with Him. Not religion. We're not talking religion here. Jesus is real and He loves you. He died for you. And He brings you to a place of becoming a child of God. No, church is not a... You know, this, oh, oh, no, on a regular day, this, this is not church. This is a cinema. You watch movies here. But who is the church? The people. The people committed to helping you become more like Jesus. Amen? Hebrews chapter 3, verse 12. Take care, brothers and sisters, lest there be any of you an evil and unbelieving heart leading you to fall away from the living God. You know, there might be people who, who's going to cause you what, to, to give up, you know, to, leave God, to, to eventually cause you to fall away, to leave God. But exhort, encourage one another. No, yun nga, magpatuloy, magtulungan, mag-encouragean. No? For we have come to share in Christ if indeed we hold our original confidence firm to the very end. Amen. Okay, and so, if, if just in case, no, so you are not yet part of a life group, Today, I want you to do something practical for me, for us. No, I know you say you don't have a life group leader yet. Please sign up and says, Pastor, I want no sign up at the back. Don't say I think welcome center. I welcome center people GRS. Make sure that people know, no, that they could sign up, and we we're gonna help you find a small group, a place where you could belong, that you could find friends, no, and and yeah, just. Do life together. We have a saying in destiny, no? Okay. We do life better together. Amen? There's a song that uh, that's touched me over, actually over the pandemic, no? The title of the song is Together. And, and as you're sitting there and reflecting on the message, no? I'd like for you to listen to this song. We had no way of knowing when We started way back there and then How the road would twist and turn and bend We just knew we belong Together If it wasn't for 
God's mercy and His grace. There's no way we would be standing in this place. But because He has been faithful every step along the way, here we Together And we've climbed up higher than We're ever in our hopes and plans We've held on to each other's hands Watch miracles unfold Together We've crawled on our hands and knees Through valleys cold and dark and deep Sometimes not even sure if we Could make it out alive Together But if it wasn't for God's mercy And His grace there's no way we would be standing in this place But because He has been faithful Every step along the way Here we are Together But if it wasn't for God's mercy and His grace There's no way we would be standing in this place But because He has been faithful Every step along the way Here we are Together Let's all stand First of all, if, if, you haven't, if you have not given or surrendered your life to Jesus just yet, I believe that this is the best time for you to believe and trust in Jesus. You know what the Bible says? For God so loved the world that He gave His Son that whoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. 2,000 years ago, I want you to understand Jesus came here in the flesh and He died on the cross for you. That's, that's the good news. And if you are willing to believe, just like what the Bible says, whoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. If you desire to believe right now, you want to surrender your life to the Lord, I would like to pray. I would like for you to pray this prayer with me. I'd like to lead you in this short prayer of surrendering your life to the Lord, of simply trusting in Him, magtiwala sa Kanya, maniwala sa Kanya ng lubos. Now, maybe some of you are watching online and, and you want to, for the very first time, believe in Jesus. If that is you, pray this prayer with me. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, go ahead, pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, Today, today, Lord, today, Lord, I trust in you. I, trust in you. I, believe, in you. I believe in you. Today, Lord, today, Lord I, ask I ask forgiveness for all my sins. All my sins. Patawarin mo po ako, Panginoon, Patawarin mo sa lahat ng aking kasalanan. Sa lahat ng aking kasalanan. Starting, today, Starting today, tinatalikuran ko po tinatalikuran ang mga kasalanan ito. Mga kasalanan ito. And today, I choose to follow you with all my heart, with all my life. Change me, Lord. 
In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I pray for everyone who prayed that prayer that you will just help them experience a brand new life. Holy Spirit, even right now, Lord, touch those people, Lord God. Erase their past. Heal them of their traumas. Forgive their sins in the name of Jesus. And let your love, Lord God, shower them, Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray that indeed they will experience what it means to become a child of God. To be loved, to be accepted, even to be celebrated. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's give a clap to the Lord. You're watching Destiny Church. If you would like to check more resources or donate to this ministry, you can download the Destiny Church PH official app or log on to www.destinychurch.org.ph.